In this video, I'll show you how to add a zip code slash address validation in your WooCommerce store. Let's get straight into it. Here we are on our checkout page. And just so we're on the same page, this is the address I'm trying to validate. Here I've entered it incorrectly. But what we want to do is that as the user's typing in the address, we want to automatically suggest their address. Again, this just simplifies the process for our customers and it reduces error as well. And as we fill in, in their address, we can see recommendations here powered by the Google Maps API. API key. And then once we click it, it'll automatically pre-populate all the checkout fields in the correct format as well, which is super important. And as you can see, this matches this address. So again, there won't be any error with the post to further streamline the process. Let's say, for example, we only ship to the UK and the United States. In the back end, using the plugin that I'm about to show you, we can filter it. So the Google suggestions will only show for those particular countries, right, which is super powerful. Again, that just eliminates relevant suggestions if we were just to have it open to all countries. If you want to implement a similar system on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to aovup.com. Go ahead and download the all-in-one checkout plugin by AOVUP. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Okay, so assuming you've downloaded the AOVUP checkout plugin, the next step is just to go ahead and upload and install that plugin. Once you've done so, we'll navigate over to AOVUP and then AIO checkout for all-in-one at checkout. Out. It will go ahead and click on settings here. So we want to go ahead and enable our address validation. So we'll just scroll down. We'll go ahead and enter in our Google Maps API key here. I'll leave a link in the description below to a link where you can get your API key. I'll also link on screen to a different video where I'll walk you through step by step how to actually sign up and get your API key. All right. So with your API key entered in here, we just want to enable our Google auto complete on a checkout page. And then we can limit the countries in which we want to serve our address suggestions to. Right. So we can just scroll down. And currently here, I've just got it set to the UK. If you wanted to enter in more than one country, we just want to hold on to the shift key if you're on Windows, right? And the command key if you're on Mac, and then we can just select multiple different countries. But again, this demo store is only serving customers in the UK. So I'm only going to enable the UK address for our suggestions. So we'll just hit save. Okay. And now we need to go ahead and create a new checkout flow. So I've already got one created here, but let's go ahead and create a new one. All right, so we choose our design so we can either select our theme default design, right? So again, depend on which theme you go with, the results will vary, right? However, I recommend just going with one of our predefined templates. So I'll go with this multi-column one. Let's go ahead. We can customize a thank you page as well, but that's for another video. I'll leave a link on screen to a video showing you how to do that here. I'm going to drag and drop our order summary onto this section here. We can go ahead and configure our checkout fields if we want. For example, we can move the last name, we can add different fields and so on. I'm just going to leave everything as default. And in fact, I'm going to hide this one. I'm going to set this one to be our billing and shipping, right? Now we'll just navigate over to settings. We're going to enable this checkout option. We're going to set it as our global checkout and we can give it a name. It's just for internal purposes. So I'm going to say, right, we can customize the place order button. We're just going to leave everything as default. And we just want to make sure we enable this option here where it says enable address auto complete. So I'm going to enable this option. Let's hit save. And now we'll test our checkout flow. So we'll navigate over to our store page. I believe we've still got an item in our basket. So I'm just going to go straight to the checkout page. All right, this is our checkout here. And let's try a different address. Let's try, right, and here's our address. Everything's been filled in correctly. So we know our address is going to be correct every single time, right? And our customers can just go ahead and check out as normal. 